Hello, Pen uh, whoever po posted this up, and I would say hello to Penn and Teller, but they don't watch YouTube. So, anyway, this is the practitioner here: Bachelor of Science student, chemistry major, mathematics minor, magician, parapsychologist, technical agnostic, forty and skeptic, and person with Asperger's syndrome, as in person with disability. Let me explain to you a couple of things which you're probably, uh, which this show fails to take into account. Number one of which, one of the laws which uh, was uh, which was the predecessor to the Americans with Disabilities Act, there were actually laws in place which would which could prevent um, people with disabilities from going to eat at restaurants. Yes, where the if the majority of people got uncomfortable, they could kick a person with they could refuse service to a person with disability, and on top of that, have um, so uh, so much as with a single um, just on a whim, call the police and have said disabled person ar uh, arrested for making everyone else uncomfortable while eating their meal. You know what else is funny? That sort of discrimination um, was uh, without without the Americans with Disabilities Act, there was no basis for. Um, a couple of other things which they don't talk about uh, in the Americans with Disabilities Act are some of the things which are there, which are allocated there to try to provide resources in the public school system for children with disabilities. Without that, you have effectively the, um, I mean, there are still people in, uh, in the United States who are trying to fight um, under the Americans with Disabilities Act, uh, high-functioning autistics and the like, to get um, back into the regular school system. Um, in some cases, in plenty of states which, you know, don't even pay, really pay attention to it, um, you know, because of the federal law or what have you, they'll segregate kids into disabled classes and not necessarily give them much more funding. Um, you know, if you do not, uh, you're worried about people trying to legislate compassion into the public? Well, if we were fighting on that point, then maybe we should, um, if you're saying that, you know, that there's, there's harmful effects to that, then maybe we shouldn't have legislated compassion in for black people. Sorry. Maybe we shouldn't have legislated in, um, I mean, like, yeah, we could have, we, um, you know, I mean, legislating... Yeah, I guess I guess legislating out discrimination has a problem. I mean, um, I mean, look at uh, look at all the negative uh, consequences that came out from uh, legislating out segregation in uh, in the black communities, legislating out lynchings, legislating out discrimination against racial groups. I mean, you know, it, here's another thing. Okay, anyway, enough of an emotional argument. Let me try to do it on a on a much more logical level. You want to try it this way. Um, okay, this episode says that there's a problem with uh, a, a handicapped person, actually, someone who is physically handicapped, comes along and actually says that, you know, uh, they, sh they shouldn't have to legislate uh, store owners to um, spend money on this sort of thing um, because of the fact that, you know, if they don't want my money, I can go elsewhere to someone who is willing to buy it. Well, here's the thing. People, like business owners, are catering to the majority of people. Disabilities are a minority. Which means if they lose disabled money compared to uh, getting more money out of the rest of people and driving up, driving up the major like bringing in the majority of customers, losing a little bit of disability money doesn't really hurt many employers. They don't really care. I mean, and here's another thing. If you took out the Americans with Disabilities Act right now, now granted, yes, there are some problems with it, and yes, it does need improvement. A few of the points on that show are right. There are some consequences, and it should, it should, there are parts of the act that should be improved upon. But if you took that out, what about the fact that there is still a high, highly religious contingent in the United States, um, largely of which is fundamentalist, and considering the fact that there are large chunk, uh, fundamentalist sects and the like who um, promote di that disabilities are God's will. I mean, it's written right in old parts of the Old Testament, the sins of the fathers shall be passed on to the third and fourth generation. There are still groups of Pentecostals and other fundamentalist religious people who believe that law in hook, line, and sinker. Discrimination against disability would be um, more than rampant. And... If you're not wanting to count that, what about the fact that if you took away the act and you had nothing to replace it with to, you know, to ensure that at least that there is some sort of compassion uh, for the public eye, that these other laws, discriminatory, discrimination ones, wouldn't go back into place, and on top of that, that other employers wouldn't, on, on, you know, en masse, start refusing service to people with disabilities, largely out of spite for, having the, for the disabled people having put the laws in in the first place and made them go to all the trouble. I mean... You know, there's there's a lack of awareness about a lot of disabilities in the United States. There is, you know, um, you know, there's still there's still a lot of lack of awareness about various disabilities. I mean, beyond the physical one, you know, even about a few physical ones. I mean, cerebral palsy still has stereotypes about it. Um, you know, autism has notorious stereotypes about it. Here, um, here's an article I'm just going to put in uh, directly in the summary block. Add it here as I'm doing this. Control C. 
this is a um, this is one about a guy down in Minnesota, uh, a, a priest who actually got a restraining order against an autistic kid because he was a danger to the church. Yes, the kid, this Catholic church, got a restraining order against this autistic kid, and he's not allowed to worship there anymore. He's not allowed his freedom of religion, which is a guaranteed constitutional American right, because and uh, because of his disability. I mean, that's the sort of discrimination that's going on, and even with the American with Disabilities Act, this has only been reduced. I mean, could you imagine the sort of shit that's going to go on without a, an act for this legislation of compassion? Libertarianism, unfortunately, when taking a look at the rule of the majority, tends to forget that the rule of the majority without some sort of, uh, of check by the government to uh, protect minorities um, has been has had time and again proof uh, you know has, has been proven time and again that minorities will be discriminated will be discriminated against because they are misinformed by the majority either by government misinformation or what have you people just don't take the time to critically think in general I mean you want examples of this the German people if you actually take a look at the historical record the German people during the time period um, yes Hitler was a di was a dictator but people lapped up uh, his stuff, you know, his discrimination against the Jews. Like they lapped that stuff up. They lapped up the propaganda. So the German majority. Remember the, remember the the night of uh, remember the night of of, uh, of silver uh, 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 the night of, uh, of of glass crystal or something like that. Like the um, basically where they went, where there was pogroms, which went uh, before the concentration camps or what have you. There was a whole night where um, where people got whipped up into a frenzy and they went to all these Jewish stores and smashed up Jewish property and, and started killing Jewish people and the like because they'd been whipped up so badly by Hitler. They had been whipped up so badly by propaganda that the majority you know, oppressed a minority. You want another one? The majority of people in the South were white. Yes, the majority of the people in the South at one point were white, and they started oppressing a, another group, black people. They were, you know, they were the majority at the time, uh, you know, from the 1920s through, you know, onwards, and they oppressed black people like nobody's business. Without laws in place to prevent such things, majorities will oppress a minority. You know, for one for one reason or another, majorities, you know, will still oppress a minority. And disabilities are no different. They're still being oppressed right now. They're just in a lot more subtle ways, thanks to the Americans with Disabilities Act. Which means we need further legislation, and on top of that, you know, we need amendments to the legislation, and on top of that, we need further information for the public. So that's why they won't do this sort of shit. Without the Dis Americans with Disabilities Act, and with its, without its Canadian counterpart, currently because of the lack of information, and because of the lack of critical thinking in society in general, you know, it's a vacuum. And what replaces that vacuum? Prejudice, discrimination, and the sort of shit that allows for um, that allows for a disabled person to be arrested for so much as trying to go out and enjoy a holiday, or for you know, or for or for a woman breastfeeding, uh, you know, to be uh, restrained out of a, a, a out of a place of uh, you know out of public, or for a black person to be segregated into school, or to ride the, on the back of a bus, or to go to another church than a white person. Um, I mean, this sort of shit is a prominent example here. I mean, this is, you know, there's there's no difference here between what's going on here and what happened with them. The only difference is that maybe with disabilities, there's, uh, you know, disabilities might cause some actions which could be, uh, you know, making, you know, in some cases could be dangerous. But, you know, there are ways of getting around that. I mean, the point is, is that legislating compassion, legislating compassion is actually an attempt at uh, legislating out discrimination. Okay? Because otherwise, you don't have anything to suppress, you know, to help prevent the majority from oppressing the minority. I mean, our, you know, I mean, where, I mean, and remember that the Jews were able to make an exodus out of Egypt when they were, you know, supposedly, or that, you know, the Jews, uh, you know, the Jews were, you know, they always had this hope of being able to get out, and that's why Israel got founded after the whole, uh, you know, it was because of the Zionist movement after World War One and after. Um, after World War II, because you know it got further refound in 1948 because of all the Holocaust oppression, they all moved there. Where are the disabled supposed to move? There's nowhere for them to move. We are an oppressed minority, okay? And it's already bad enough because of the fact that w without the Americans with Disabilities Act, we'd be oppressed ten times more through religious bigotry, through misinterpretation of disabilities, through just the sheer stu just through the sheer logic of people. I hate to say it, but that's the case, okay? You know, um, yes, the Americans with Disabilities Act and its Canadian counterparts do have some problems in them. Yes, Penn and Teller's points are valid, but at the same time, we don't need to take out the act. What we need to do is we need to further improve and modify the act and get further information out there. We don't need to be taking it out and leaving nothing in a vacuum and leaving people up to their choice whether or not they are compassionate to disabled or not. How many people actually give to a bum on the street? 
How many people still think that welfare is being lazy? You get my point.